Hello everyone. I want to show you um, a way to consider solving problems when you have an unknown quantity, in other words algebraic, algebraically. Um, but I want to show you something first. If I said to you half of 10 is what? So if we think about it, so if we had this whole bar, and we said it's 10, half of it wouldn't half would be 5, because 5 plus 5 is 10. So half of 10 would be 5. Well, we can take that same idea and say, well, okay, wait a second. Half of what? Let's say n. n is our unknown value. It's our variable. Half of n equals, let's say, 6. Well, again, if we think about the whole bar, so half of n. So the whole bar is n, but half of it is 6. So if that bar is 6 and this bar is the same value as 6, we know n must be 12. What if you had 2 thirds of n is 8? So we have 3 total bars, right? So 2 thirds of it, so this is the whole thing n. 2 thirds. So 2 of these bars is 8. So if 2 of them are 8, wouldn't each one of these be 4? So then we know n must be 12. So 2 thirds of 12 is 8. Let's look at it another way. If you had 3 fourths of m so let's say we don't know what m is, so 3 fourths of it though we know is equal to 9. Well again, the whole bar, 3 fourths of m, so the whole bar is m, 3 parts of it is 9. So if 3 parts of it is 9, wouldn't each bar be 3? So then m must be 12. You also could deal with, with fractions if you wanted. You'd say that two thirds of n equals, let's say, one fourth. Well, again, the whole thing is n. So two thirds of it is one fourth. So this is one fourth, which is the same as two eighths. Because couldn't we say that one eighth plus one eighth wouldn't that be two eighths, which is the same as one fourth? And we know that two parts of it, two thirds of it, is one fourth. So, so for each one of these, so we know that then that n must be three eighths. So two thirds of three eighths is one fourth. Again, just something to play around with. Um, this is something um, that's definitely designed to be more of a um, having you think a little critically by using an image, a picture, a unit bar to help represent the problem for you. So have some fun with these challenge problems and I wish you the best, okay? Thank you.